it was about a year uh, october no november november of last oh, yeah. year yeah um she was six weeks old and just was a little different than a usual cold um obviously i only have experience from naomi our oldest so i kind of compared the two and i was just like you know what this just doesn't feel right and i called jimmy and just wanted to let him know that i was going to take her to the hospital just to get some you know um opinions on what was happening and during that time it wasn't really talked about so we got um we just kept going forward and forward and doctors weren't really giving us a solid answer so um we got the diagnosis about five days in and she was kind of already at that weak part um in rsv and so we we just kind of let it do its course and it just wasn't working so um we took her to the hospital after um she had a couple complications and had a coughing spell and really kind of went limp in my in my arms and kind of gray in, in color and um ambulance had to take her to the hospital and we stayed there for about six to seven days and um i mean we wouldn't be able to get where we are today without them like we wouldn't have her i don't think i felt like at that time um I was still in that postpartum phase at six weeks and having a two-year-old too and trying to like navigate life and I thought I was overthinking and I would call Jimmy for my you know my my support and you know am I overthinking he's like no like go just find answers let's get answers let's get answer and honestly without him and my mom instinct I don't you know I don't know what would have happened but I'm so thankful for the two of them because you know, we, we made it out on the, the positive end of it. That's what me, I think me being determined with the whole, like how I use my self-motivation and being determined to get me in the music industry. I think it helped with this whole situation. Cause I'm like, I'm the type of person, mm -mm. something ain't right. I'm gonna keep begging you until <laughs> we get what we need. And if I can't get what I need from you, guess what? We can go to another doctor. And that's the thing too, just because you have your own doctor you go to, you know, as a parent, your, say the doctor you go to says they don't see nothing wrong. Okay. They might not see nothing wrong, but it doesn't mean that there isn't. Mm -hmm. So if you still feel uneasy and I, and you know your child and they're not acting the way that they normally do, go to another doctor and keep going through doctors until you know you get the answers you need to get your baby back up. I feel like she has like, uh, what do you call it? Not survivors. She's just like living life free. Yeah. She's so happy. It's like, you know how adults, they have a near death experience after that. They're like, I'm going to chase my dreams and be happy. Yeah. That's what she's like. It's like she got a new thing to shake you yeah. for a little bit. <laughs> yeah. So now she's just every. She's she got so a, loving. She's definitely got some of my personality. For she's sure. loving. She's spunky. She's fun. She, I mean, she laughs all the time. Yeah. She's she's kind of ornery. Um, not yeah. kind of. She's very ornery. She's she's wild. She's wild.